Hey everyone, Eric here. In this video, I'll show you how to clean up your Windows hard drive because, you know, who wants to have only a couple of megabytes free and no idea where all that free space went you had just last week. So, to begin with, if any of your programs complain about low disk space, or you happen to be in File Explorer and see this, then you know it's time to start looking for files you just don't really need. Before I discovered this free little application, I would spend my evenings sifting through folders or hoping I'd magically find a couple of gigabytes in my recycle bin. Well, those days are over for me since I discovered Windirstat. First, we'll go over what this application can do for you. Then I'll install it on my VirtualBox Windows 11 test environment so you know how to install it as well. Finally, we'll hop on to my personal desktop, which is a bloody mess, and we'll see how much additional space I can squeeze out of the hard drive over there. Okay, so according to their website, Windirstat is a disk usage statistics viewer and cleanup assistant for Microsoft Windows clients and servers. So, on startup, it reads the entire directory tree structure of the selected hard disk volume and then displays it in three useful views. The directory list, which resembles the tree view of the Windows Explorer, but is sorted by file and folder size. The tree map, which shows the contents of the disk volume grouped and color-coded primarily by extension. And finally, the extension list, which serves as a legend and shows statistics about the file types. All right, so let's hop on over to the test environment and I'll show how to install Windierstat. First, we need to go download the app. I put the link to Windierstat in the description for you and I already have it up in my browser here. Okay, as you can see, we have several different installers to choose from. For most of us Windows users, we'll be going with the Intel 64-bit MSI installer, so I'll just click here to install. And like I always say, you can either go to your download folder or click on the open file link in your browser to start the installer. This is a very straightforward installation, so to start, click on the next button. Then click on the I accept the terms in the license agreement checkbox, and click on the next button. Click on next again. Then finally click on install. Click on yes if necessary to allow the application to make changes to your computer. Click on finish and we're done. Awesome. Let's start it up by clicking on the start button and typing Windirstat. And press enter. Give it a second or two and it will come up. Now let's flip on over to my personal desktop and we'll see how to use this most awesome of computer tools. Okay, so we're here and I just started Windirstat and you're presented with a couple of options. The first one performs an analysis of all of your local drives. In my case, I have four. The second option allows you to pick and choose which drives you want to analyze simply by clicking on them. The third option allows you to select a folder on one of your drives to analyze reducing the scope of the analysis. For our little demonstration, I'm going with only reviewing my D drive. It's not horrible only because I use this app to try and keep it at a reasonable size. Then I'll click on the OK button. Now you're presented with several Pac-Men searching through your drive. I warn you now, this part can take a bit of time, so feel free to go. Get that cup of coffee, hang out with the spouse, whatever will keep you occupied for a while. But don't worry, it will all be worth it, I promise. And there you go, this is the basic layout of kind of messy, overloaded hard drive. It was much worse a while ago, but for today's demonstration, this will do. As I described earlier, there are three distinct panels in Windirstat, and they're all very important in their own way. This one is the directory list, and as you can see, it's sorted based on total amount of space used by the folder. In my case, the Steam library, for some reason, is eating up almost 40% of the hard drive. Over here, we have the extension list. Its job is to let us know how much space a particular type of file is using. For instance, since I'm a content creator, I have about 84 gigabytes worth of MP4 files out there. Lastly, we have this giant colorful blob at the bottom. It represents all of the extension types by file. So this large yellow box here represents a 31 gigabyte file and makes up 96% of yellow files. Notice how when I click on a file down here, it automatically jumps to it in the directory listing. Sometimes it's just fun seeing what the largest files are, honestly. And in my case, it's this giant green block here. And what do you know, it's a game I installed and only played probably once about a year ago called Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries and is gobbling up 52 gigabytes of space on my hard drive. 
because this is a program, I don't want to delete this file from within Windirstat. My preference would be to go into Steam on my computer and uninstall the game from there. Now let's click on the MP4 extension in the extensions list. This lights up all of my videos I've made. I don't usually keep them around after being published on YouTube, and since they are individual files, I don't mind deleting them from here. Let's pick on one to get rid of. To delete a file, just right-click on it in the directory listing and select either Delete to Recycle Bin or Delete No Way to Undelete. If you select the Recycle Bin, the file is still retrievable, whereas the other option won't allow you to recover the file. I have the option to click here and tell it not to warn me again. And click on the Yes button. There is a final verification to delete the file, so just click Yes. Now it's gone. And that's how you can clean up your hard drive without spending a dime. I can't recommend Winderstat enough. It has really made freeing up space easy, or at least given me the knowledge I need to make decisions about what I want to keep on my hard drive. If you found this content useful, it would sure help out the channel if you would give the video a like. I cover all sorts of technologies, including software development, hardware support, and software tools. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.